So, internet, what's up? Rob from TechGuysSmartBuy.com. Today we're gonna be talking about iOS 14, but more specifically, iOS 14.2. So we're gonna talk about the music recognition or more or less Shazam that's now built, that's now properly built inside of iOS. Quick fun fact, Snapple fact. Uh, Apple acquired Shazam back in 2017 and they didn't really do anything with it outside of just ask, being able to ask Siri, what song is this? So now, you know, three, three some odd years later, they finally try to implement it more system-wide within the control center. So we're gonna show you how to crack it open, how to use it, you know, what it can do and how does it compare to Google's now playing, which is, you know, an interesting comparison. The built-in Shazam is under what they call music recognition, and it's within the control center. And you might have to dive into settings to, act, to activate it. So you just, that's pretty easy too. You dive into settings, go to control center, look for music recognition, not sound recognition. That's a completely different accessibility. Uh, you know, people who are hard of hearing or deaf, uh, people who can't hear, that's a different feature. Uh, so music recognition, hit the plus sign on that, and then you should be good to go. So how it works is that, you know, you access Control Center, uh, you hit the Shazam button, and give it a few seconds, and then uh, a notification a notification bubble will pop up and tell you what song it is. Now, of course, you can say, oh, okay, cool. If you wanna know more about it, you hit the button, you tap it, and gives you where to stream it, where to buy it, uh, you know, links to play the videos, with a lyric sheet, so you can sing along in sync with the song, like, you know, pretty much karaoke style. So I think that that little lyric part is dope. Um, but also with the notification, if you long press it, it'll go into Apple Music. Now the interesting thing is that Google has had this feature since the Pixel 2 and it's called now playing and it's kind of using their own uh, built-in thing. It's not using like SoundHound or Shazam. They're using their own like just library AI. And so how Google's works differently that it works automatically. Like you don't have to press nothing. If, if music is playing, it'll tell you what it is. Um, and then it works offline. So it's automatic and then you could be somewhere but you have no data and it'll still pull up whatever song that is. So uh, Apple Shazam method does require for you to activate it, take a few seconds, and then uh, it requires an internet connection. So you need Wi-Fi or something for it to work. If you have nothing going on, it's not gonna pull up the song information. So that's kind of like, uh, I wish they would do it. And the way Apple works with privacy and locking everything down, I doubt that will even happen ever, but stranger things have happened. That's kind of everything there is to know about it. Um, I do prefer the now playing just for the whole being able to work offline and then just work automatically. But outside of that, I do like the, the Shazam Apple integration, you know, to sing along with the karaoke style, lyric for lyric. So that's, that's actually pretty dope. Uh, let us know if you knew that. If you didn't, I'm sorry for wasting your time. Uh, we appreciate you for stopping by anyway and uh, checking us out because you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Peace.